Okay, so in this video I wanted to do the Master Key Lesson 8, but I also wanted to give like a little update on what's going on right now for me. So, um, well, my sister, if y'all have not been following, you should check um, videos 17, 47, and 52. Um, they talk about my sister and some things we've been going through. She's pregnant. And she's had some complications during this pregnancy. So she's had a million quadrillion tests. And she had to be put in the hospital for like a week and a half. And because of all these things, she's been able to have ultrasounds and such a lot earlier than most mothers to be. Um, normally, uh, a woman will find out whether she's having a boy or a girl at like 28 weeks. But on Tuesday, my sister called me at like lunchtime at work and said, guess what? It's the doctor confirmed that Liliana is in fact a girl. So, we knew. But we're so excited that it's confirmed that Liliana is coming and everything is going to be wonderful and Amy wants me to paint like butterflies and things like that to put in her room and I'm like looking for like baby stuff and I keep seeing all these ladybug things. I'm so excited because I love ladybugs and so I don't know we're going to decorate her room with bugs. <laughs> So we're really excited about that. Um, I did belly dance for Fourth Friday again. That was a lot of fun. And I did two dances. So I'm getting, you know, I'm learning more dances as we go. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Okay, so lesson eight of the Master Key System. The one purpose of life is growth. And all other principles in the world contribute to this. We're put on this planet for growth. We're put on this planet to mm, reproduce. So create takes forms and the law of growth begins to manifest things. So our thoughts are created. Not just creating other humans, but creating ideas, creating things in the world. So no matter what your thought is, um, good or evil in the universe the universe will make it grow um, so we should again um, talking about the good and evil thing but we should substitute constructive thought for destructive thought and we need to analyze every one of our thoughts and try to decide is this um, thought going to benefit me in any way or is it going to cause destruction in my life and the people around me so we need to think about what we're thinking <laughs> the imagination is a mighty instrument and um, he says that a builder cannot build a structure of any kind until he receives plans from the architect the architect must get them from his imagination Imagination is not the same as daydreaming and just wishful thinking. Imagination is constructive. It is built through knowledge. We need to learn as much as we can about the things that interest us. And when we do that, we're able, we'll are able we be able to create more because we'll have knowledge of the things. Constructive imagination is laborious and um, it's the hardest kind of labor. Some consider it the hardest kind of labor. He says, you cannot entertain weak, harmful, negative thoughts for 10 hours a day and then expect to bring about beautiful, strong, and harmonious conditions by 10 minutes of strong, positive, creative thought. You really have to be in that mode as long as you can, all day. Um, not just for like 10 or 15 minutes and put all your energy into it. Not that that isn't wonderful, but that, that part of the chapter really says something to me because I could be having a really bad day all day long and um, I try to go home and just manifest something good and I, you know, something might poof, something good might come, a little thing might come, but um, my energy all day long was just bad. 
So, you know, I'm not going to get this wonderful thing by just 10 minutes of thinking positively. So let's try, we need to really exercise our thoughts and really think about the good things in life and the things we can be appreciative of and um, have gratitude for. So, and we need to do that all day long. Uh, Charles Hanel says that successful men make it their business to make, to hold ideals of the conditions which they wish to realize. They, they're constantly thinking of the end result of uh, something wonderful. They're constantly holding in their mind the next step necessary to the ideal for which they're striving. So they're continuously thinking of, oh my gosh, I just met that person. How is that person, how is that person going to help me on my path? I just read that book. How is this book going to help me on my path? And then it's the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing. So um, this is how successful people do it. They are relish in what's going on right now, but they think, how is this going to help me towards my goal? He says that in the last exercise, we created a mental image. You brought it from the invisible to the visible. This week, you are to take an object and follow it back to its origin. Uh, see what it really consists of. Think about it. If you do this, you will develop imagination, insight, perception. You may even receive prophetic information from the universe. In this activity, we need to imagine a battleship, and we need to go back. There's hundreds of men working on these battleships. Go back to before the men were on there. Or there's men building it, putting together all the metal, welding, um, big hunks of iron sheets um, being welded together and hammered together go back further to where these sheets of iron are being created by huge rocks um, go back further to where these rocks were in caves and they were being mined of iron go back further to where this was um, a drawing on an architect on an architect's notebook go back further to where uh, Congress was discussing some some form of weaponry needed to fight in a battle and they would like to travel by sea but something stronger than wood go back further somebody realized that big hunk of metal can float and it won't sink to the bottom of the ocean you see what that what that was we thought back Take any object, take a sink, plumbing, a light bulb, <laughs> think back to its origin. This is how we create, this is how we create things in this world, it's exciting. So we need to use our minds and think back and just realize we can, who would have thought a big steel rock that came out of a mine can float on top of water and not sink to the bottom of the ocean. Somebody like you or somebody like me thought of that. Somebody who wants to create. So this is what our, our goal is this week. And I wanted to read the last part. He's quoting it from Sanskrit. Look to this day for its life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all the varieties and realities of your existence, the bliss of growth, the glory of action, the splendor of beauty. For yesterday is but a dream and tomorrow is only a vision, but today, well, li well lived, makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Look well, therefore, to this day. <laughs>